perfect marriage. Well, I have a bit of a love for blue cheese. I mean, everybody, does everybody love blue cheese here? Yeah, right. so good. Well, unfortunately, blue cheese and wine, they don't really go too well together. The problem is, you taste wine, fantastic. You go to cheese, fantastic. You go back to wine, you're still lingering on that cheese. You know, it's so big and bold that it kind of pushes through. So what we've done is we've come up with this, uh, what we've nicknamed blue ice. And it's uh, a blue cheese is actually infused with ice wine. Basically, at the winery, everything's infused with ice wine. <laughs> I can tell you right now, cornflakes in the morning with ice wine, it's fantastic. <laughs> um, but uh, it's a blue Benedictine, St. Benoit Monastery in Quebec. Beautiful cheese, but what we do is we actually scoop out the size of a shot glass, pour in um, about a shot of uh, Vidal ice wine, and then we let it just uh, kind of soak right into the cheese. In the first week, we keep topping it up, we'll get a full bottle of ice wine into this cheese. But we don't stop there. <laughs> so after six weeks, we will get two full bottles. It slows down a little bit. So I'll tell you, after six weeks, it's one happy piece of cheese. But what happens is the ice wine macerates and follows the, uh, the veins. And all it does, it doesn't really make it sweet. It makes it more balanced. Because everything in food and wine is about balancing out those flavors, the acidity, the sweetness, things like that. So what I think you're going to find is the cheese is going to come around, but, and if you haven't already tried it, but on the, what do we got there, on which side? Yes, I so on your right hand side is the cheese as we get it from the monastery, a beautiful ripe blue cheese. Try that, it's going to linger on your palate. So this one here is the blue ice. And then 